So thank you very much. So um, I'll take this through that um, finance is one of the, uh, when we think about development, when we think about uh, renewable energy, when we think about energy efficiencies and so forth, finance is one of those barriers. And there is the big question when you come up with any intervention on renewable energy, uh, especially in this part of Africa, people will ask finance, where do we get the funds from? How do we get the funds and so forth? So this module uh, particularly brings out or teases out some of those critical issues that we think anyone who is going to engage in either business of renewable energy uh, or use renewable energy should be able to face, but it is at different levels. And as we are coming up with this material also, the, the intention is really to be practical. The learners who will go through this program will have to engage in a lot of practical, real-world situations and uh, not simply um, uh, a theory, as it were. So we look at uh, issues to do with the principles of financial modeling, and I'll talk a little bit about that a, a little later. We look at the relevance of financial information, especially in decision-making that is related to uh, financing renewable energy. Then we look at the sources of finances. Then we look at integrating risk management in decision-making for renewable energy, very critical uh, when you're looking at financing renewable energy. And then uh, we conclude uh, the, the, the discussion by looking at the innovations in financing renewable energy. Some uh, contemporary issues coming up and that can be uh, improved from time to time. So the overall objective of the module, all right, can be looked at uh, in key seven uh, points. Number one is to introduce the students to renewable energy resources, resource availability. So it is important to start at that point. Uh, what is renewable energy? What are the resources available? Then uh, also to discuss the main characteristics of pricing, cost, and the revenue models. And this is looking at the principles of the financial modeling that it rotates around price, cost, revenue. Then uh, to give students basic knowledge on financial reporting. Like I said, you need information to make financial decisions and you get this information from the financial report. So in this module, it is not going to go into what people know as debit and credit as it were, but if you're presented with the balance sheet or the statement of uh, the financial position or the income statement or the cash flow, can you make some decisions? Uh, we shall see what is involved in that particular, how we meet that objective. Then to discuss the different uh, mechanisms of renewable energy projects, financing, okay, the, 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 the capital, and uh, then the project, the corporate and then the project uh, models will be discussed there. Then very important is to consider the factors of choosing a source of financing. And we shall also look at that. Then uh, look at the innovations that are financing renewable energy is not static, but there are innovations that keep on coming up. Why? Because now the discussion on renewable energy is at the forefront. People are thinking about like, uh, we've heard uh, from uh, Gulia that the environment and uh, the desire for clean energies is very important. Then we conclude the other objective is to discuss the risk management issues that in whatever we do in financing for renewable energy, risk management is very important. So again, the, uh, just a quick run through this, that the, 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 the areas covered rhyme with the objectives that we look at the principles of financial modeling, financial reporting and analysis, introduction to renewable energy. Uh, then we look at the sources of finances available for renewable energy. And of course, closely related to that is the debt and equity financing 
that if you have any business, you either finance it by debt or by equity. But what are the issues involved in there? Then we look at the innovation in finance, uh, financing renewable energy issues to do with Islamic financing and so forth, then conclude by looking at risk management in renewable um, energy. So uh, if you choose to go through this module, just a quick run through a, a little detail about the particular topics. The principles of financial modeling will basically look at the characteristics of pricing, cost, and revenue the mathematical relationship there. So you're talking about modeling. Again, not into the complicated, but rather in a practical sense, okay? And in all the interactions, we try to draw or we'll try as much as possible to draw from the real life uh, examples and experiences. And then, this particular uh, uh, segment will also look at the different types of models. Quite a number of them, but notable among are the cost-based pricing, competition-based pricing, the full cost pricing model, and then the contribution margin. These are explained uh, in detail as we'll go through the program. Financial reporting and analysis, very, very important. Uh, for about three reasons. Number one, there's no business that can run without making financial decisions. And for you to make financial decisions, you must have an appreciation of the uh, financial information, which is provided in the traditionally known as the income statement, the balance sheet, and then the cash outflow statement. Now, we are not going to go into how do you prepare these, right? But to look at what information is provided and how can you use it to make decisions. And certainly these statements are produced following the international financial reporting um, standards. All right, so that is very important. So a critical aspect when we are covering this area will be the analysis, because you must be able to put the information to use. Actually, uh, one professor said that financial information is useless unless we can attach value to it and you do it through analysis. So that's where we'll talk about some ratios that can be used to put meaning to the financial information that is provided in the statements. So those are some of the key ratios, the return on sales, which really deals with operational performance. Okay, you may be interested in uh, knowing that or the return on investment when you look at renewable energy as a form of investment. So that will measure the profitability. Then, of course, if you, if you are an investor in a renewable energy, then we look at the return on equity. And then finally, which we shall talk about uh, next, will be the debt equity ratio. You're looking at the capital structure. To what extent, what is the desired ratio of financing in terms of debt compared to equity? Very critical for renewable energy financing. Then uh, the other area is, uh, of course, the introduction to renewable energy uh, uh, financing. Again, this is very, very important because it will bring out the aspect of sustainability. Then it will look at the key mechanisms of uh, renewable energy financing, where we look at corporate uh, financing or project financing. Again, that comes out when you talk about corporate project financing, you're looking more at debt and what are the issues involved therein. And as we go through this, it will also be looking at for those renewable energy projects, for example, that are in place, how have they been financed? Okay, so that we can relate what we are studying to what is happening uh, in reality. Then critical there also is to appreciate the need for renewable energy. I think this question is very important. Otherwise, members would say, why am I wasting my time with renewable energy? So it must be answered. Then uh, a little bit of risk will be introduced here. But remember, the final topic deals with risk management. Okay, And there, the interest is to look at the critical risks. Is that OK? that may affect the success of any renewable energy uh, venture, okay? 
So you're looking at uh, 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 oper credit risk, okay? You're looking at operational risks. You're looking at political risk. You're looking at financial risk. Is that okay? Uh, and so forth. Then we zero down on the specific risks that uh, apply to renewable energy projects. Sources of finance, uh, possibly this is an area where all involved in the cost may be very much interested because it is quite straightforward. But the important thing is once you know the sources, it is not enough, but it's also important to know that choosing the right source and therefore the right mix of financing renewable energy ventures is very, very important, okay? So we also discuss the classifications by time where you look at short-term sources and long-term sources. Ownership, whether it is debt or equity. Control, uh, whether it is uh, uh, internal or um, external. And this is very, very important for those who will be involved. The debt and equity financing topic, again, reinforces the previous topic, but you go, we go into a little depth uh, where we talk about debt financing, which we re relate mostly to project uh, financing, then the corporate financing, which relates more to equity financing. And then um, we answer the, the questions, those key questions that are uh, involved there. What is debt financing? What is equity financing? So as I draw to a close, I think I have two more to go. Uh, the innovations, this is very important because uh, I can't say renewable, but the concern for renewable energy is increasingly gaining more and more popularity and interest, okay? Because of uh, what was mentioned in the first presentation, I won't repeat that. But we look at issues like Islamic financing, all right? Uh, how uh, does it augur with renewable energy? How does it uh, is it an approach that people should choose? What about the policies that surround Islamic financing? To what extent do they uh, inform uh, uh, renewable energy use? Okay, so those issues are, are developed, are, are discussed. And then finally, we look at the risk management in renewable energy um, financing. You cannot talk of any form of investment without appreciating risk. And uh, you can discuss a whole range of risk factors, okay, including issues like COVID as a con. How does that affect renewable energy, the pandemic, and so forth? So this is an exciting uh, topic, I should say, where you look at the risk. And like we mentioned before, you look at the known ones like credit risk, the uh, uh, operational risk. We look at uh, environmental risk. So that one is of particular interest to renewable energy and could form a justification for various um, decisions. So ladies and gentlemen, when you go through this module on uh, financing uh, renewable energy, uh, renewable energy uh, project financing and modeling, it is very important to have a few takeaways in terms of appreciating the source and why you choose a particular source, but also to appreciate the overall finance environment that influences the decisions that you make. And this module addresses that. Thank you very much.